Hi everybody, we are the Mad Scientists. I'm Mad Frankie, as you can see here. Uh, Violet Igor is hiding again, but she's here. So, and some pieces. I've got some soap. I found this. I thought I had one somewhere. It's a masking marker. That would be interesting to try out. Don't know that I've actually tried it yet. I've got two of them. If that one doesn't work, this one might. So this is what I was doing before. And I've taken all the masking fluid off. Now I'm not going to show you that because it takes a while. It really does. And that was using the Vallejo liquid mask. <coughs> I just sort of scratch it off around the corners and then scratch it the other side so that I can pull the whole thing up. Otherwise it tears. Now I even got a tear down here, which I've glued back down. So let's hope that's all right. <coughs> also found some more implements that might be of use not that not that, not that thing <clears throat> and these now this has got a nice point on it and these are writing pens bamboo writing pen two of them in the one and they're said to be quite good easy to peel it off of so that's another possible this is a similar thing to that so it's got a pointy one and a flat spoon shaped one Pointy one is more likely to be of use, but I don't know how fine it's going to be. Now, somebody also mentioned, that's another one that might work, metal one. Somebody mentioned um, colour shapers, which is what these rubbery tipped things are called. This is just rubber. So I've got a big fat one. I've got loads more somewhere, but these are the ones I found. And another one, the same shape, which is just like a, a brush. Let me see if I can get this to. There you go. You know? I got it. And you can see that this middle one is a sort of wedgy shape. Yeah. yeah. Not sure how good that one will be, but these might be of some use. So we'll give them a try. But at the moment, we've just got this piece that we've done. If I want to do something here, <coughs> I was going to use the bow hong. And the trouble is, I've got these arches, haven't I? Here. Here, <coughs> there, got these arches, or arches, I don't know how you pronounce it. It should have an accent on the E, surely, if it's got a, a arche sound. Arch, maybe it's arch. Anyway, <coughs> but this is so expensive, I, I'm wary of using it unless I've got a good project in mind. And I'm thinking of the one with the doggy. But I don't want to use the, the piece I've already done, A, because it turned out quite good. And I want to be able to keep that. <coughs> but obviously the photo I took this from seems to work fairly well. So I might have another go on this one, drawing it, see how it goes. See, this particular one feels fine enough to your fingers. This feels a bit rougher to your fingers. This is the... The lantern here, and this is the um, arches. Arch. It feels quite rough. On here, when I was drawing, um, I noticed when I was colouring in the dog's eye, I'd left an area for the highlights, but you can barely see it because of the other bits that are left when the pencil goes over the bumps. You know, I don't know if you can see what I mean there. There are two highlights left, but you could barely tell that they're there. Obviously, they'll show up better when they've got white on or they've got masking fluid to keep that. But I don't want to do it on this one. I want to do it on another one. So, yeah. <clears throat> so I need to do a sketch on there before I start that, is what I'm saying. So we'll put that away for now. After all, I'm still doing experiments, and I'm hoping... But the sound is a bit better, but I'm not really happy with it. So I'm looking into getting a, a decent microphone. Uh, Mariah has given me a link to a good one. So I'm going to look at that and look around at other options and make a decision in the future. I have got an old microphone somewhere, but whether it still works, I doubt. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I've got my soap for using an ordinary brush and... 
you know, just use, you know, the every brush, just let me put them in. Uh, I found this bag of cheapo, sorry, talking away from the microphone indeed. A bag of cheapo brushes, including some nice sponge brushes, and these extremely cheap brushes. I think the whole lot, this whole packet was about between six and twelve quid, I'm not sure which. I got it a while ago. I think I got it at Hobbycraft, not sure. But something like that might go to a decent point, or it might not. Or perhaps using a flat one like that with a... Come on, focus your beast. I think it focuses better when you can't see the white paper behind. Uh, this one has got a nice flat edge, which might give you a point. So those can be used with the bar of soap. Any more that might work. Oh, that one might work. That looks like a synthetic. It's possible that, that might work a bit better. So oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. I just found. Let me put these away for now. I don't think it's usable because I'm not an expert brush maker, but Oh my, that's, what does it look like when it's wet? <laughs> yes, good question. This is made from the dog's hair. Oh. It came off. So it's very curly and not particularly pointy. <laughs> um, I just think there's not enough hair in there and it's not straight enough to be useful as a brush. But as a little item of memory, it's... Quite nice. I tried it some, I don't know, a year ago. It's a rufous plant. It's a rufous, it's a rufous flower. Plant. Yeah, indeed. So, um, now what did I want to do on here? That's another question. I think before we start this, because we've got this, that might give me a moment to think, we'll uh, see if we can paint this. So we've got that to try out some more. I'll see if I want to definitely try out this Martin uh, pen. I don't think I've used it because it seems to be still um, sealed down with some sort of sellotapey thing. Yes, I think it is. So I can have to cut that open with a blade. It's not in there, but maybe in this. Yeah, I can see one right there. There we are. Just have to cut it open. Let me sell the tape. So let's cut that off. I should. There we go. So uh, it's, I've heard that they're like a pumping pen, you know, like a, a marker. So because it's a marker, you just shake it up, prime it, and it should work. So we'll give that a try later. And I believe that this is Indian red. And that is maroon. So I'll try some maroon, which is what we've got here. And it's beautifully granulating. It really is. It's got some darkness in it. Some some black or some other colour that uh, looks black. Uh, if I hold it up, you might be able to see the granulation a bit better. Can you see that? Isn't that stunning? Ooh, look at that. So let's try it. So, uh, pick a pink brush. Pick a pink brush. I think we'll use perhaps that. Okay. What about the oval wash? What about the oval wash? 
if it over wash it's a bit on the big side i could do with a smaller oval wash like that now that i found out about oval washes that one that's a better size i think i'll keep the, the smaller one ready but i think this is a better size now i want the spray as well because i want to let this move a little bit So how well that's wetted it a bit but not much so we'll push it around and see what happens i think that's better all like right that. oh that's spreading nicely I'm not keen on that one. I'm going to soak some of that up. That's better. I do want a little bit of so when I do like that, I still that's better. That's much better. Yes. I want it to spread a bit, but not too much. So I've only sprayed the actual flowers. Sorry, seed pods, not flowers. I'm going for a loose, you see, so that's why I want the water to move things about. I don't like the static nature of the... Uh, stems so I'm spraying on it to make it move a little bit more in there a bit more in there see well, that one's a bit too much so I'll mop that up Give it a little spray. Try it where I want it. And see if that will help it at all. Yeah, that's not too bad. Going back up to that area, but I kind of expected that anyway. Thinking to add a bit more of that nice yellow. I've got to wash that brush properly. Add some of that to it as well. Put it in my way there. Right? Move that out. Oh. No, I'm just talking to myself now. Think. While you're doing this, think. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking to yourself, but I'm here, yeah. I'm listening. Yeah, well. <laughs> But you, yeah, you've got to figure out how you want to do it. I, I'm letting you just go find your find your gut feeling, find your intuition. Yeah. Well, the, the leaves of the honesty plant have this redness when it gets to almost time for them to come off, and it's a lovely color. So these do get this sort of colour before they are completely ripened because when they're completely ripe, they're um, almost silver. They're so delicate and coloured. Mm. 
That's a little bit strong, that one. Can I dab up around these? No, there. And on this edge, actually. And this bit over here. Which is escaping somewhat. And there. <clears throat> That's not too bad. I think that needs a little bit more of the maroon. That one needs a bit more yellow. So I'm drawing off my, I know it's a waste of paint, but drawing off my paintbrush so I don't get my water quite so muddy. That's no idea. And if it's going to work or not. So, a bit of that in there. Yeah, yeah. And there. So I have a lot there. So I cut that edge. It does seem to want to disappear up there, doesn't it? Spreading down there, I don't really want that. And that so much. <clears throat> it's very well to give it freedom, but you don't want to give it too much freedom. That's not bad at all, actually. I think it's great. I think you've improved it. It's made it looser, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, we've well, still got the trace of the white, but it's the not one at the done. the one at the top left, uh, up at the top, yeah, that one. It's a bit tight. It's a bit, um, I don't know, not a lot of movement. So I, or, but keep in mind, I'm way back here. You're there in person. Maybe you see it better than I do. I need a little bit more water. I don't want too much because I don't want it cooling in the wrong place, which is what it's inclined to do. Of course, if we were to do this on the arches, maybe we wouldn't get so much bubbling, because there's still bubbling here, you see. This is actually lifted off now, all this edge, all down here. And most of that edge as well. It's only these two edges that are still down, but even so, when you don't have the edges lifted up, you still get a bit of buckling with this. This is the lantern. So... I'm quite happy with that. I don't really want that going over there. Right. It it bloomed a lot when you hit it there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what we want, isn't it? But we don't want right. it getting mad. So let's have a little bit of this. It. You know, it almost from 
I turn my head and it's almost more like uh, unbloomed flowers rather than honesty. Mm -hmm. Pennies. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't want them to be the silver ones, you see. I like it. I like this. I wanted it to meld into the background somewhat, and that's what it's doing at the moment. Isn't it? It's, it's become looser. And you can always go over it when everything's dry and add little touches like a very fine brush, something like that, for instance, and just put a little mark here and there, or even with a, a pen, just put some little lines here and there to vaguely show some of the edges. Don't want to put too much on to make too much of the edges, but perhaps a stroke here, a stroke there, you know. That's the idea anyway. We'll see how that that um dries. Don't want too much. But there you go, I'm quite happy with that at the moment. Quite happy with how it's moved. Yeah. That is I like it. Set that over to dry. Yep, we'll go. There's Always good things to look at in the um, Jean Haynes books, as I was saying to Patricia just earlier today. Like this one, the calm one. Yeah, I have that one in the ebook. Yeah. I like this in particular. Now, this uh, gave me an idea for this, but I was trying to use different colours. This one. I'm trying to get it. Here we are. This was um, what I saw. And of course, I did it without having the book in front of me, so I couldn't see it. So I was just playing with colour, seeing what would happen. So, how to do this? She explains here Giant Puppy. <clears throat> you begin by painting away from the centre of the paper. This one, right, leaving the white hole. creates beautiful flowing red lines towards the outer edges of the paper, leaving the centre as clean white paper. <clears throat> Turn the paper continually as you paint so the colour runs towards each lower edge as you add more red. Well, I didn't go for red, I went for blue. And I did it somewhat differently. I painted a shape there, which as it was with water I couldn't see it very well, so of course it wasn't a very good shape. <clears throat> and then I wet all the rest of the paper and put the blue on. And I think um, there is a difference between the blues that work, um, or well, sorry, the paints that will run a lot and those that won't. Because I saw somebody saying that on a on a YouTube video. I can't remember who. It uh, could have been anybody. So I think it might have been Denise Love. Come to think, yeah, it could well have been. But um, it could have been Liz Chatterton. I've been looking at those two lately. And um, what happens is the, the, the granulating and the ones that move a lot, they move more. The other ones don't move so much. So it doesn't matter how much I wet this paper, it didn't really seem to want to move. I think it has been said that reds move better, but it depends on the... Uh, make up of the paint, the pigments and stuff, or some pigments. Actually. Right. I know what you mean. Yeah, I think it's particular pigments that are inclined to move more. Well, ex ex of course, and, and the mix, the amount of mix, because some will granulate more than others, some will move, yeah. they will bloom better than others. I've already learned that just from the few different paints that I have. It's yeah, fascinating. Yeah, remember the maroon. Lot. Uh, when the maroon, you could see that the red was spreading quite a lot and leaving behind some darker colour. It could have been a black. It could have been a brown. Well, this is what the Kiritake graphite does. If you if you um, work with layers, it's it's thicker. It's got um, there's an undertone, but you don't see it as much as you do with others. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, some of those now I. It's so like button. on this on this blue right here, you can see the undertones, what there is. 
Yeah. Or on the maroon or or even the yellow, there was a bit of an undertone. The, I think yeah. the maroon showed it best. Yeah. But now, if you use the Kiritaki graphites, because they are so heavy, I mean, the, the, the other paints, um, you you might want to put down layers. Yeah, you can see them here. Right. Move more than others. Right, but if with the Kiritaki graphite, now we're just talking. I'm just talking about the graphite. That's layers aren't yeah. nearly as necessary because it comes out so dense on first swipe. Does uh -huh. that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. And this is where what I'm seeing. I kept looking because when I edited your video, I kept looking at that going. Well, now you could see undertones, but you had to come back and pull those out. Well, um, because I'm only doing a small swatch on these pictures, I was using hold because I like them, the mops and the rounds. They hold quite a lot of pigment and water. When you put it down, you can take it out to this area. Yeah. And it will be that color all the way across. So. I didn't take it all the way across. I put some water on my brush and then eased Pulled it. Pulled it out, yeah. Yeah. Encouraged it to follow. Now, if you look up at the at the generic one, for lack of, because I can't say the word. Um, okay, I'm doing. There you go. You didn't have to work so hard to pull that undertone out. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure I didn't. So, I'm not so sure about these being these vocal undo ones not needing so much dragging out because I did actually put wet on here. And here you can see the effect. I didn't put it on that one, but I did on this one. So, anyway, it might be an idea to try the same experiment on here. And try it with some of these and see what happens. There's nothing on the other side. We can have another go. <clears throat> of course, it will get very wet. But uh, here we go. These things happen. So let's give that a go. I'd like to have a go. So you start with reds. So uh, I was thinking the Kuretake, once I tell me, red graphite. <coughs> The black, white, red, whichever you want to. So, so, there it is. I'll pop that up there so I can see it. Make a bean. So, let's start. Well, perhaps we don't start with that nice orange water I've just created. Perhaps we go and do this one. I think would be a better idea. Perhaps I use a smaller one of these. It's still difficult to get in. Let's get that one in. There you go. That fits better. Right. Let me that one again. Hair loose there. <clears throat> I've got to try and see what I'm doing. Somewhere that hasn't got any. And the car. So she said uh, lines going out, didn't she? That's not what I'm doing, is it? No, you're not. You, she said it went around that circle and then it pulled it out. Yeah. So let's try with a bigger well, brush. 
yeah, maybe look at the book again if you're not sure. But she yeah. went around the circle and then pulled it Keep out. Away from the center of the paper. It's definitely a bit of a technique, isn't it? Mm -hmm. To make that move out outwards. Well, uh, the, the first flush of water that I put on doesn't seem to want to stay, you know. It just soaks away and soaks into it. So I'm inclined to add a bit more oh. if I face away from the hole. Yes. So paper is a major factor. Yeah. What did you say? And then um, turn the paper continually. Okay. Instead of twisting your hand around. Yeah, I'm trying to use your left hand. Not so easy. Paint. You know, that's that's so along the lines, that color is so along the lines of that maroon, but it's it has that graphite in it. I think it's maroon with more graphite. <laughs> Maybe that's what was in the maroon, graphite. Hmm. Possible. Making sure the edges stay wet so that I still get it. Probably then says, let it dry thoroughly. Uh, I might just add a little bit of red to it as well, just to, you know, vary it. Well, isn't that what you, you were using was the graphite red? Graphite red, yes. I was thinking more of red red. Oh. Or even the maroon. That might be an idea. Let's add the maroon. Oh, Oh, that oh. accents it. Look at, wow. Yeah, I thought that might be a good idea. Wow. I'll take this, this kind of, it's so much easier with it. In all truth and honesty, the graphite red looks more maroon, and the red looks more graphite red. <laughs> right. <laughs> they look backwards. What did you do, Kiritaki? You 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 did them wrong. You put the wrong palette in there. Yeah, that red doesn't have as much of a graphite look, but it does look or the maroon. I'm, I'm doing it the other way with this. I'm doing the edges and pulling it inwards. Pulling it in. Let yeah. it compete a little bit. Yep. How the rush was turning off the teeth. While you rule the paper. Oh, if you see what I mean. <laughs> Too bad yeah. Mo's not around to, to interpret whatever it was you just said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, she did a fantastic job for you in chat. She was brilliant. 
Yeah, she really did a great job keeping up. My hands are sore, so I wasn't going to be able to type as quickly as you were talking. No, Mo really, really, really carried it well. Appreciate that. I'm very grateful because I, I didn't realize it was going to be that much of a problem. Being, um... Oh, and you looked marvelous, honey. You looked so good. <laughs> well, I was so it. jealous of your coat. <laughs> It is a nice picture. Yeah. So there's that. I quite like that now, that intensity. I might add a little bit more of the of the um uh, graphite red. I don't oh, know how nice <laughs> right. I don't know how you would do it, but I think that graphite green would Oh, maybe not the green. Maybe it's the blue. I think it's the graphite green. Would a tinge of that? That one? Yeah. A tinge that's just a... And oh, that's the graphite... Wait a minute. What is that? That's the green. Graphite blue. Graphite green? Graphite green. Yeah, that's graphite the... green. I, I... Yeah. Yep. I just a tinge of that, that in, in a, with a very fine brush. Just streaks of it through there. That might be interesting. You do you, but I, I'm just I'm painting mine in oh, my I'm not head. going to because uh, I want to do something different in the middle. Well, I might do that. I don't know. We'll see. There you go. I'm just thinking yeah. of the colors I would use. I'm I'm doing mine in my head. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. It works out better that way. Yeah, I can control the water. <laughs> yeah. Less mess. <laughs> That's nice. I'm leaving that now. I probably will change its mind, but I'm leaving that now. Mm, it's a lovely pickle of water. It's only when you're actually using a brush that you find out whether it's the one you thought you wanted or not. And I haven't had them long, so I'm learning as I go. That's one of my. That's become one of my favorites. I have to go get a quill. So this book says, "When well, how out of the area is covered in red, at the blue center. Please don't try to be neat. Oh, I've got to put it on now. I've got to put it on now." Right. Oh. I'm not trying to be neat. I'm going to go wibbly when I get to the edges. But I'm going to need to run out the other, run next door and get some salt. Because I know the salt is part of this. Should have brought it in. I didn't realize I was going to do this. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm going to have to put some more on that because it's it's gone dry. But it's a black hole exploding. Yeah. That's not too bad. I think I think we're gonna get something out of that. I've already got petals just by accident by doing that sort of pointy yeah. dragging out. Yeah, I see it. More of that. She did it like this, you see. She didn't do it to the whole page, so yeah. That's her starting point. And uh yeah. Well, she has different paper and different paints, and they react different and they move different. So yep. it is what it is. Yep. And this one, where she's a different one, where she's doing more than one puppy. Yeah. It's a, something to think about for another time. <laughs> but yeah, I think we may as well stop it now because then I can move it off to dry and clean up the board underneath a bit. Although it's getting well colored. Okay. Ooh. Well, 
then what we'll do is we'll just say thank you everyone for being here and i'm sorry i'm not on camera fran will do a heart and then click us off so yep, have a good day implement of clicking us off uh, I, I, oh, I'm going to go with it. Ready, steady, 